Today on the channel, in honor of 35,000 subscribers, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 10. And in today's video, I'm counting down my Top 10 Mattel Rock Figures of all time. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 10, a special countdown today in honor of 35,000 subscribers on this very YouTube channel. Thank you to each and every one of you that has subscribed to this channel and the other channel. Don't forget Kyle Peterson 2.0 for top five lists, things like that over there as well. Make sure you hit up that one along the way. But of course, today we're doing something a little special for this Top 10. We're counting down my Top 10 favorite rock Mattel, Mattel only figures of all time, or at least should say uh, up to this point, because we know more rock is in our future. But we're doing just Mattel. I was originally going to do all rock figures, and I said, man, there are so many figures here when you take in all the jack stuff. I said, let's break this down. Let's silo this down. Let's do Mattel here. We'll do a future top 10 of the Rock Jacks uh, versions of all the different versions from Jacks. And then maybe we'll do miscellaneous top five or something. And then maybe one day, who knows when, a couple years from now maybe, we'll do a Super Rock top 10. Where we'll take the favorites from kind of everything and put that in together. We'll see what happens. But today, we're talking Mattel only. And I think the most people that are watching this video are probably mostly familiar with the Mattel stuff. Obviously, some Jack stuff as well. Uh, but Mattel's got a lot of people's hearts because it is the current line right now. And of course, we're going to do this top 10 list like we do all the other top 10 lists. We're going to start at number 10, work our way to number 1. 10 being my least favorite. Number 1, of course, being my favorite. And as usual, I'm going to ask you guys, make sure you put your list in the comments down below. Make sure you put them in order. That's the fun part. That is the hard part. And remember, this is my list. Put your list in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's stop this jibber-jabber. Let's get after it. Let's hit up number 10. We kick off the top 10 rock Mattel figures of all time, of course, at number 10. And number 10 is a bit of a deep cut here a couple years later, but this one stole a lot of hearts right off the bat, including myself. This time we're going to the Mattel Basics line. Yes, Basics. We're going to Basic Series 100, a very special series, a very interesting series. I did do a video special on Basic 100. There's some crazy variants. There's some crazy stuff with that on top of the crazy packaging. Just an all-time set is that Basic 100, possibly one of the most underrated sets of all time if you really think about it. So check out that video if you did miss that one. But going to Rock at number 10, the Basic 100 version here. And what was cool about Basic 100, new head sculpts for every single character in the set and it was all tippy top guys from the Mattel era we'll call it and Rock fitting right in there and just an absolutely gorgeous head sculpt on this version of Rock I know a lot of people have swapped this head on some different elites moved things around stuff like that just a very good Rock figure you can set your watch to a special Rock figure with the special packaging being part of a series 100 as well just an all timer version of the Rock that I really did enjoy this figure I still enjoy this figure and when I do think of elite or I should say basic series 100 this rock one always sticks out for me as i love sideburned rock just a very good looking figure all around even if it is a basic figure a uh, very good rock here and that's why it comes in at number 10 in the top 10 rock countdown Next up, we're at number nine, and number nine is one, possibly if you're watching this as it drops, you could possibly still find maybe at your Target store, maybe your Walmart store if you're searching out there. I'm sure Ringside Collectibles with discount code Kyle save 10%. You'll probably be able to find it there for sure. But what is it? It is a brand new WrestleMania Elite Rock figure. An interesting one here where he's on his uh, path to full-on Alex Rodriguez is what it feels like to me. But it is a very nice figure from The Rock. Of course, the updated pinless joints, things like that. Uh, not quite the sideburns era, but a different Hollywood Rock era is kind of the beginnings of that it always felt right here. But a good one, and as we're going to see with a lot of these Rock figures, there's not a ton of bells and whistles. As Rock 
Quite the dynamic performer, quite the personality, not flashy like a Legion of Doom or the Ultimate Warrior or the Macho Man or even Hulk Hogan. He kind of just does his thing for the most part with some instances here and there. But I always thought this figure, and it's a fairly recent one, like I said, felt really good, looks really good. It's just a good rock that you could set your watch to if you have a watch. But Rock WrestleMania Elite coming in at number nine. At the number eight spot in our Rock Mattel countdown. And number eight, you could say this is kind of a twofer one. It could be either or is what I'm going to say on this one. Of course, this recently came out in the Mattel Elite Greatest Hits line. It is also way back in the day in Amazon Attitude Era exclusive version of, of course, The Rock. And The Rock, some may say, looking only like he could look with his sunglasses on, his nice chain, of course, a microphone in hand, and the lion kind of coat, or I guess lion shirt is what this one is. Definitely a dapper rock, definitely an all-time memorable version of The Rock. And one so good, like I said, they had to re-release it in the Greatest Hits line. So you could say either or is what I'm going to say. Of course, there's some upgrades and stuff in the Greatest Hits, but basically the same figure. That's what we're going to go here. But a fun one, a cool one on Amazon on back in the day one that went on deep discount back in the day as well but still a very good rock version a good one that represents his a nice lion shirt giving him a little extra pizzazz no doubt about it so number eight greatest hits or attitude era exclusive the rock We've reached the number seven spot in the Rock Countdown, and number seven for me is an interesting one, is this one goes to the Top Picks line. And the Rock, no stranger to the Top Picks, but I always like it when we get a Top Pick that is different. Now, we did get an Elite 100 version of this with a little different color scheme, color pattern, but a very, very fun version of the Rock here in kind of his football jersey, his Rock football jersey is what we'll call this. And of course, the patented Rock Gold glasses we've gotten so many times from Mattel. Not a ton of bells and whistles to this one, but it does stand out when I look at my shelf of rock figures. And that's how I have them. I have all my rocks somewhere over there. Somewhere over there. What is it? But I always like this one. It always sticks out to me. Looking pretty good with his football past as well. So rock coming in at number seven, the Top Picks Edition. The number six rock in my top ten countdown is a bit of a sleeper rock. This one stole a lot of hearts when it came out and kind of quickly disappeared. And uh, not a lot of people talk about it to this day. But a very fun two-pack that, of course, included Mankind. It is the rock. This is your life segment from Raw. Two-pack with Mankind. Rock and sock connection. Rolling on, rolling hard. I absolutely love this one. You got a Mr. Rocco that this comes with. Only time we ever got that. Of course, you got a Raw's War microphone, the patented glasses, a very good version of the Rock, good head sculpt, good body, uh, good outfit as well, as far as the trunks go, at least. Just an all timer here. And of course, you did get the Rock and Sock jacket as well. You got Rock's version to go with Mankind's. Just a very, very cool two pack and one of the defining moments of the Attitude Era, no doubt about it. One of the highest uh, segments, I think, if not the highest at the time from the Attitude Era. Just a very fun pack, a very simple pack with a lot of bells and whistles but a very fun pack and that's why it's number six in my top 10 rock mattel countdown we've hit the halfway point in the top 10 rock mattel figures of all time you got your list together make sure you put it in the comments down below make sure you put it in order and make sure you subscribe to this very youtube channel but here we are at number five the halfway point and number five we go to the wwe mattel ultimate edition line for a more modern version of rock is what we're going to call this. Of course, feud with John Cena time frame is what we'll call this one here. But a good looking rock once again. Most ultimates are good looking. There's ultimates after all. And this is the ultimate version of a more recent rock. And we've had a lot of versions of this rock. Some better than others as we've seen. But I really do like the looks of this one with the ultimate articulation. That toe articulation, just like Todd McFarlane. I'm a sucker for it at the end of the day. But a very fun one. Love the bring it hand right here that I got to Displayed on him. Is it the best rock ever? No, but it is very fun in the Ultimate Edition line, and we're getting kind of an evolution of the rock a little bit in the Ultimate line as well. Just a very good rock, and one that's not going to break the bank. I bet you can still probably buy this one for about retail or close to it, so that's not a bad thing either. But a very good, more modern take on the rock coming in at number five. Getting dangerously close to the very end of this rock countdown, and we're at the number four spot now. And this is another interesting one. Dare I say a blue chipping one, as this is the blue chipper. 
It is Rocky Mayavia. Of course, you could say his rookie figure, rookie look, I guess is what we'll call this one here. And much like the one we talked about earlier from the Attitude Era Greatest Hits line, same thing here. We had two versions of this one, most recently in the Greatest Hits as well. Or I guess this one wasn't Greatest Hits. Technically, I walked that back. This is part of the Then Now Forever 4-pack is what this one was a part of here. An interesting dynamic with that 4-pack. A lot of interesting stuff about that 4-pack, as we do know. But this one is very, very cool. Very different though we look at all the rocks as a whole this one just definitely sits on an island by itself and that's why it's so special it's so different from everything else it's such a different drastic look it just makes its way into a countdown like this because it's so cool and so different you know rock got a lot of looks but really at the end of the day a lot of them are very similar this is the biggest outlier one if you ask me it just is fun i remember when he came on board i was like oh cool it's rocky my idea didn't didn't set my world on fire, I'll tell you that much, but it is cool for what this represents. I love a throwback figure, a rookie figure, if we'll call it that. And that's why this one comes in at number four in the top ten list. Like a young traveling Woolberries, we're getting to the end of the line once again. And right now we're at the number three spot in this rock countdown. And number three, once again we go to the Ultimate Edition. And this one, a Target exclusive Ultimate Edition. And as I'm filming this right now, currently on the store peg, store shelf, or probably Target Online as well. So if you're after this... Hit it up, go look for this at Target right now. But a very cool tracksuit edition of Rock. And we've had tracksuit rocks in the past. I think the uh, entrance grate was a tracksuit one, if I'm uh, not mistaken, off the top of my head. But this one, of course, brand new. All the new deluxe bells and whistles. whistles. You get the full-on tracksuit. I can see somebody, a hardcore Rock fan, buying three of these. One to display without his tracksuit, one with the tracksuit. One on the card. That's the way it goes sometimes for the hardcore fans out there. But a good version of Attitude Era Rock for everybody that needs it in their collection that missed out for whatever reason in the past. Uh, a classic version of the Rock here in the Mattel Ultimate Line Target exclusive here for the Rock. A very, very good one. And that's why it's number three in my top ten list. We've hit the number two spot in the top ten rock countdown. And number two, we take a trip to Walmart. Beautiful this time of year, depending on your store. Depending on your store, that's what we'll say there. But this is a Walmart exclusive from the Mattel Elite Ruthless Aggression line. and could possibly be at your store right now or very soon. But it is the rock from the Ruthless Aggression line. And it's the concert rock with his guitar. How about that? Like I said, maybe not the most iconic version of the rock like a few of these here. But they just stand out so much and this one is very very cool of course came out this year a lot of updated bells and whistles i really like the looks of this one got the patented glasses on you got his guitar you got to have that he's ready to duet with the hurricane if he needs to of uh, that classic moment but this is kind of when the rock came back from hollywood would put on his little performances just a different version of the rock and that's what makes this one feel a little bit special here today uh, at least to me uh he's got his vest on he's got his tattoos got the bald head all those bells and whistles as well but a good version of The Rock and a, a very cool one that really a lot higher on my list than I would have anticipated when I went through everything. But, man, that's how the cookie crumbles or The Rock rolls, maybe we'll say it that way. Uh, but a very good figure. And like I said, could be at your Walmart right now. I've seen these starting to hit Walmarts a little bit more lately. So you might be in the case looking at your Walmart store for this one here. But the Ruthless Aggression Rock coming in at number two. And that leaves one more. Any guesses to what it could be? Well, stay tuned. We have arrived at the number one rock figure of all time as voted by me. And as usual, put your list in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the old notification bell. And remember, we got videos every single day, even more often on Patreon as we got tons of stuff, early access to all the videos, all the bells and whistles over on Patreon. And best of all, you support the channel, videos like this. But here we are at the number one spot, the number one Mattel rock figure of all time. And when I started this list, this immediately went to number one, never changed, possibly my favorite rock figure of all time, not just Mattel. We'll have to see how that shakes down in the future. But this one, once again, we go to the Ultimate Edition line. We go to the Amazon Ultimate Edition rock. Truly the ultimate rock Love, love, love this figure. Obviously, it's number one here. But one of the best head scans, head sculpts of the rock we ever had. Screaming, yelling face. Beautiful sideburns going on. 
Beautiful soft goods. Love the blue color. Always love this blue color on the rock. And then, of course, soft goods throughout. Extra heads. A lot going on with this rock. And unfortunately, this rock is a very hard figure to find. Uh, it's a very weird one that a lot of people said, oh, man, I never could find this. Well, if you go back, and of course, I've been collecting a long time, the Ultimate Edition line hit some snags along the way. Uh, very early on, there were some peg warmers that slowed distribution. Really, the line felt like it was, it was on its last legs. I really thought it was kind of going to go away. And what ended up happening was retail got backed up so much, the Charlotte Flair ended up going to, I believe it was Ringside Collectibles, and The Rock ended up going to Amazon as an exclusive. And a lot of people said they missed out on this rock, and I remember distinctly this thing being up for pre-order and order multiple times. I could have had multiples of these over the years, but there's a lot of people snoozing, a lot of people waiting, a lot of people not into collecting at the time. And then as time went on, this became one of, if not the most valuable ultimate figure of all time. Have to imagine this came down on price with that new Target Ultimate out on the store pegs. It's similar but different as we do know. But this one still holds a special place in my heart. Just a very cool representation of the rock. Of course, the bells and whistles of the title belt. Just a lot to like about this one. And this, this one could actually be at the top if I do an Ultimates Top 10, which we will do on the channel one of these days. This has got to be in my Top 10 favorite. Who knows? Could be towards the top. I'd have to put the old pen to the paper eventually. But a very good figure. A sleeper figure. And one, like I said, a lot of people missed out on back in the day, but a very fun one, and that's why it's number one for me as my top 10 favorite Mattel rock figures of all time concludes here at the number one spot. So there it is, the number one rock figure of all time. Once again, put your list in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit up the old Patreon, hit up Pro Wrestling Tees, and then of course, social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the top 10 Mattel rock figures of all time, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.